All right, so let's look at this one, and the instructions are the same. Complete the square to determine if the equation is a circle, a quadratic like a parabola, or something else. Show all your work and graph the quadratic or the circle on a grid. Now, the first hint I get here that this is not a circle is the x is squared and the y is not. When only one of them squared is generally a, a parabola, so what I want to do since I think it's a parabola is get y by itself. So I'm going to move this, this, and this over to the right side of the equation. Here's the equal sign. I want it on the right side. It's on the left side currently. So I'm going to subtract x squared, subtract 3x, and subtract 6 on both sides. So on the right side, I'm also going to write minus x squared, minus 3x, and minus 6. And so when I do that... This is gone, this is gone, and this is gone, but the 8y is still there. So I've got 8y equals negative x squared minus 3x minus 6. Now, I'm almost, I'm almost to the point where my y is by itself, but I'm not there yet. So i got to divide by 8 on everything. And so I have y equals negative x squared over 8 minus 3x over 8, minus, and this 6 eighths can be reduced to 3 fourths. All right, so what prompted me to try to get y by itself? Can you think of what it was? It was that the only thing squared in this was the x. The y wasn't squared, so that told me it was probably a quadratic, so let's get y by itself. So here it is with y by itself. Now, the problem says, tell if it's a quadratic. Well, we have identified, since only one of them is squared, that it is a quadratic. But it says to graph it. And so to graph it, I think the easiest way to graph a quadratic is always first to find the vertex and the formula for the x value in the vertex. Remember, your vertex is going to be a point where you have an x and a y. Well, this x point is negative b over 2a. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to calculate what is negative b over 2a in this problem. Remember, b, well, first, a is the number next to x squared. So in this case, it's negative 1a. b is the number next to the x that's not squared, so it's negative 3 eighths. So I've got negative 3 eighths over because, right, I'm using this formula, negative. Ooh, I messed up. So it is negative 3 eighths, but I need a negative in front of it. So negative negative 3 eighths, because here it says negative, and then whatever b is. Well, b is negative 3 eighths. So negative, and then whatever b is, over 2 times a. Well, a is negative 1 over a. There's no 1 written here, but it's understood to be there. So a, so 2 times negative 1 eighths. So I've got 2 times negative one eighth. Okay, so this, this represents negative b over 2a, and so that gives me 3 eighths over 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 eighths. Now, when you have a compound fraction, that's a fraction divided by another fraction, you flip the bottom and multiply it by the top, and so that's going to be times 8 over negative 2, and so that's three. When you multiply fractions, you just multiply the top. And some of you are saying, why don't you cancel? Well, I, I want to work out exactly how it happens. So three times eight is 24. And eight times negative two is negative 16. So now I'm going to reduce. So that gives me, tw I'm divide both by two, 12 over negative eight. I'm going to divide both by two again to get six over negative four. I can divide both by 2 again and get 3 over negative 2. So when you divide 3 over negative 2 in the calculator, it's negative 1.5. So the x value of my vertex is negative 1.5. And now I need the y value. Now remember, when we graph a parabola, the vertex is where the graph changes direction. So the graph's going... The graph's going down, 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 and it hits this point where it changes and it goes up, 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 up. Or the graph could be going down like this, and so it changes direction from going up, 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 up to down, down, down. I like to get the vertex, 
and then plug in a number to the left of the vertex and the right of the vertex, and that kind of tells me if the parabola is going downward or if it's going upward. Okay, so I've got the x value. Then the question is, how do you find the y value? Well, all you got to do is plug the x in. Now, we could plug the x in in any, in any form of the equation that it looks easiest to plug it in. Well, plug in negative 1.5 in this looks like a mess. But if we take our original equation, which was x squared plus 3x plus 8y plus 6 equals 0, and we just plug what this is x, we just plug it in for x here and here, this is a lot easier to solve. So I'm going to use the original form. So I'm going to plug in for x, negative 1.5 squared plus 3 times negative 1.5 plus 8y plus 6 equals 0. And so I'm just solving for y now. Okay? So I'm going to get a calculator. And I know that negative 1.5 squared gives me positive 2.25. And 3 times negative 1.5 is negative 4.5 plus 8y plus 6 equals 0. So now I just need to add my constants. And so when I do 2.25 minus 4.5 plus 6, I get 3.75. Let me zoom in. So I've got 3... 3.75 plus 8y equals 0. And I got to solve for 8y. I mean for y. Okay. And so I subtract 3.75 from both sides. And so I have 8y equals negative 3.75. And then I divide 8 on both sides. And so y equals y equals negative. 0.47 if it's rounded. And so the, the value or the my vertex is the point negative 1.5 and negative 0.47, right? I just took this and put it right there. Now, don't let, a lot of people will let decimals bother them. The fact that this is ugly doesn't matter, right? Here's your vertex. So if I take my coordinate plane, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw a coordinate plane. If I draw this coordinate plane, I know the vertex of the triangle is negative 1.5 and negative 0.47. So I'm going left, negative 1, this is negative 2, so negative 1.5 is right here. And then down, not quite 1. So here's 1, so half of that's about right there. There's my vertex. But now I don't know if the graph does this where it goes downward, or does it do this, where it goes upward? And so what I like to do is plug a point into the left of my vertex and to the right. So it's like a little T-chart, right? And so I'm going to pick a, a number to the left of negative 1.5. So why don't we plug in like negative 3? And a number to the right that's real easy usually to plug in is 0. So I'm going to plug in both negative 3 and 0, and at negative 3, I'll, this is negative 2, negative 3, I'll have a value either down here or up here. And at 0, I'll have a value either down here or up here. And I'll know then what my parabola looks like. So let's go plug those in. And like I said, I think it's probably easier to plug into the original equation. And so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to plug negative 3 into this for x. So I've got negative 3 squared plus 3 times negative 3 plus 8y plus 6 equals 0. So that gives me 9 um, plus negative 9 plus 8y plus 6 equals 0. And so now I'm gonna, I can add these to this, and that's 9 plus negative 9. 9 plus negative 9 is 0, plus 6 is 6. So I've got 8y plus 6 equals 0. So now I'm trying to solve for y, so I subtract 6 on both sides. And I get 8y equals negative 6. So y equals negative 6 over 8, which is negative 3 fourths, which is negative 0.75. So my first point I'm going to graph is the point negative 3 
and then negative 0.75. Negative 0.75, so I've got negative 3, so let's graph that. Here's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 is going to be about right here. And then negative 0.75, remember this is negative 0.5, so it's a little lower, so about right there. So I'll go, that's negative 3, and then negative 0.75 is about right there. So it looks like this graph's going to do something like, that's bad drawing. Let me zoom in so you can see it a little better. It's going to do something like, it'll kind of be rounded, and then come downward like this, if I had to guess. All right, so let's go plug 0 in. Remember, I'm just plugging 0 into the original equation for x. So I'm plugging it into this equation. So 0 squared plus 3 times 0 plus 8y plus 6 equals 0. So all this is 0, so I have 8y plus 6 equals 0. So then I have 8y equals negative 6, looks familiar, divide by 8. And so I get negative 3 fourths again. So I want to write here negative 0.75. But this time, I'm at 0 and negative 0.75. So I don't go left or right, right? I stay at 0 and then just go down negative 0.75, which makes total sense. It's going to be somewhere around right there. And so now when I draw my graph on the right side, it'll look something like this. So it's a parabola going downward. So now we've done what the problem asked. The problem asked for us to tell if it's a quadratic. We saw it's a quadratic, and we even drew the quadratic. But what I always like to do is just to verify that I'm right, I like to open up Wolfram Alpha and put the equation in. And just kind of look at, is what I drew what Wolfram Alpha has? And so let's look at our equation real quick. Our equation was x squared plus 3x, so I'm going to put that in and then come back, because I can't remember it, x squared plus 3x plus 8y plus 6 equals 0. Press Enter. Let's see if the graph looks like what we drew. And it does. Look, that looks just like what we drew, right? And I think you can even put in here what the, just put the word vertex, and it'll tell you the vertex. And it's exactly what the vertex we got, and it tells you it's a parabola, and parabolas are always quadratics. There's your graph, which looks just like what we drew, right? Or similar. I mean, we're estimating it's giving you an exact. But that tells us that we got it right, that we got the vertex right, the graph looks the same, it's telling me it's a parabola, and so that's what what they wanted from the instructions. So I hope that helps.